Hey everyone, this is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. So it appears that Warren Buffett indeed knows what he's doing. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Um, actually, it's funny because um, just on Sunday, uh, we had talked about Walmart. And uh, most recently, if you guys haven't heard the news, which I'm telling you right now, um, Walmart made a deal with Paramount. I, I didn't see this coming. Um, we've talked about Paramount stock as well. This is one of the Warren Buffett stocks. Uh, he's been buying up a ton and ton of Paramount. I don't think he's been buying a Walmart unless I missed it. Um, but basically the gist of it is that, um, from my understanding, uh, Walmart and Paramount Plus uh, have made a deal, or you could call it say Walmart Plus and Paramount Plus. But basically, um, it looks like Walmart's jumping into the streaming game and looking to compete with Amazon uh, and their Prime membership thing. Now, uh, I have Amazon Pl uh, Plus. Um, actually, uh, they have a lot of great content on there in terms of streaming. They had a uh, sort of a series with Josh Brolin, which I think is really good, and um, lots of other things there on there as well. I think they got that new Lord of the Rings things coming out. So. Um, it's gonna be a real fight. Now, in terms of Paramount, um, they got the new Star Trek show, which, uh, pretty frank, guys, is really, really good. Um, and also Paramount put out the Top Gun movie, which is also really good. So, uh, it's kind of funny because um, I personally thought before that Paramount was dead. I'm just sharing with you in terms of their content, but it seems that Mr. Buffett either had uh, inside information that knowing that the, the content was gonna be good this year, or he saw the stuff for himself, or he just kind of bet on the leadership of Paramount. That's sort of how these things go is, um, one, you can look at the numbers, but two, you gotta know who the leadership is, and three, kind of know the direction of the business and the industry. Um, now, what does this mean for Walmart? So, Walmart, one of the things I thought was fascinating about them is um, they're trying to convince people that you can essentially uh, get your groceries delivered and that'll be a service. Someone wrote in the comments um, uh, just yesterday, uh, or let's say I do appreciate you sharing it with us, that um, they use Walmart for deliveries. And I think that's really interesting because I can see that, I, I really can, in fact, um, my wife's uh, uh, mom does the same thing, or I could say my mother-in-law does the same thing where they, she orders groceries online because it's way easier to have groceries delivered to you. Um, in fact, you know, you don't have to be move a bunch of stuff. And, uh, you know, if you're older, it, it's quite an advantage. In fact, um, going to terms of Walmart, I could see an older crowd going for Walmart um, and that sort of thing. Now, uh, I believe Amazon does grocery delivery. I've never done it myself, but I think most of their grocery deliveries through more expensive uh, things such as, um, what's the right word? Uh, it's the green one. Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Whole Foods, right? <laughs> Sorry guys, I had a little uh, brain mishap for a little, uh, for a little bit there. But um, I, I've never tried to do Amazon for like say, um, you know, just regular fruits and vegetables that aren't Whole Foods. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Amazon is only Whole Foods and please, like I said, correct me if I'm wrong. So I think in that regard, Amazon and um, Walmart may be competing in different categories where um, Walmart may be going for more downscale, which is totally fine because I don't always need to buy, you know, $50 bananas. That's something that I need to buy, right? Um, sometimes you just want to buy your generic regular bananas. And for many people out there, especially with inflation, those organic bananas seem to be like too much and Walmart is a viable choice and the kind of company that does do well in inflationary environments. Now, I think it's really interesting too is that um, we've talked about shrinkflation, which is essentially, you know, paying higher prices for less value. But in this situation, um, if Walmart Plus indeed has Paramount Plus for you know a long-standing uh, thing where you know you subscribe to Walmart, you also get the Paramount uh, streaming service, um, that actually creates value for people and maybe something. Um, it'll be really fun if we find out later that like you know Target does a deal with Disney, and then we find out that um, you know YouTube does a deal with I don't know. I'm trying to think of what would be a uh, Foot Locker or whatever, right? <laughs> and, and we start to have like these sort of uh, uh, conglomerates of. Uh, online shopping with streaming service. I mean, it could be a thing because we already know that, say, something like uh, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, they all partner with various streaming services. Although, um, those kind of partnerships aren't so outlandish because you're talking about, say, streaming something on your phone, it kind of makes sense. Um, really, Amazon is sort of the one who started this sort of thing of like, hey, I'm shopping, hey, I'm gonna be offering you lots of a service and becoming like a, a multifaceted company. Now, um, I've never been that attracted to Amazon, uh, mostly because it doesn't have a dividend. And the stock hasn't really been a great performer in the last five years. You can look for the chart for yourself. Um, you never know in the future if Amazon does start offering a dividend. Um, that certainly could be a thing because it's not like Amazon uh, doesn't make money. They do, but they've always been traded at high valuations. Um, the other thing too, which I will mention is that Amazon has uh, been making money in their cloud and that's been doing really well for them. So deliveries isn't like a spectacular business, I would say, whereas cloud, cloud is in terms of margins. Um, so whether or not, you know, Walmart Plus will find a way to 
to really you know shrink the margins enough to make this profitable remains to be seen and then remember too um warren buffett didn't make the bet on walmart he made the bet on paramount which i think is really interesting so um the other thing too which i, I want to mention which is also related to this stuff as well in terms of streaming wars um, my understanding as well is that youtube is going to get involved in stream wars and essentially what it is is like you guys already know this um there are many people who watch this channel who are already subscribed to basically youtube's premium services that sort of decrease ads or eliminate ads completely um there's also been some talk that youtube will uh, offer some like sort of add-on kind of things uh be it live tv uh be it hbo be it you know theoretically paramount in the future now the whole walmart paramount deal from my understanding um, will be exclusive for the first year. So basically that means essentially um, if you want to, you know, subscribe to both services, it'll be uh, through Walmart and Paramount, like the sort of exclusive deal. But then after that, who knows what, what could go on. Um, and then the deal in total is a two year deal. So um, we'll see how it lasts and how it goes. You know, it could always be cut in the future. And also too, it depends probably on uh, bottom line. Now, I believe if I remember correctly, Walmart um, pre, uh, presents their earnings this week. I think it's tomorrow, actually, guys. Um, we just talked about it on Sunday, and if my memory serves, I think it's tomorrow, and I think Home Depot is tomorrow as well. So um, please, please forgive me if I get my dates mixed up, but I'm pretty sure I'm right in these things. Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about this one. And it's funny because I, I mentioned Warren Buffett in the beginning because you know Paramount's one of those really interesting ones where um, it offers a pretty good dividend, uh, it has a decent P/E ratio. And I, you know, you wonder why more people aren't pulling into this when you know Warren Buffett himself is also in this one. Um, I think one of the reasons why you would or wouldn't. So I'd say one of the reasons why you would pile into say Paramount is because they have a decent catalog and they got a bunch of titles. Um, one of the reasons why you wouldn't is because basically streaming is really, really competitive, and Paramount Plus alone just doesn't offer as much value as to say other things. Um, however, when you figure out a way to like get Walmart and Paramount together, then suddenly you're creating a new value that wasn't there before. Because like, for example, uh, when you subscribe to Amazon Prime, but pretty much everyone in USA has, uh, you're getting streaming. Uh, you even get uh, photo um, storage if you didn't know that. And uh, obviously you get your deliveries and your discounts and things of that nature. So um, I'm curious your thoughts about this. What do you think about this Walmart Paramount deal? Uh, to me, it sounds pretty good. It sounds like a match made in heaven. Um, I'm real curious what to, the details are of this and sort of like, how the market reacts to it. Um, I, I was uh, su very surprised, actually, to be perfectly frank. Um, I did not see this coming, and, I, and I, the first media uh, sort of thing that came to my mind was like, yep, Warren Buffett figured it out before all of us, or he had information. But um, if you want to play on the positive side, you could just say, you know, he picks good companies to invest in. He picks good companies with CEOs that have, you know, essentially the cash on hand and the cash flow, because Paramount has cash flow. So does Walmart as well. And, and figure out, you know, companies that may have potential deals in the future. And there you go. So anyway, thanks you for your time. Love to hear your thoughts on this one. Is it a good deal? Do you like a Walmart and Paramount's teaming? And what deal do you think will be next? And uh, if you were Target, would you be going after, uh, you know, your streaming service as well? So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.